Bienvenue en Floride, où la France est arrivée il y a 450 ans. In 1562, when France was being torn by religious strife, Gaspard Caligny, Admiral of France, sent two vessels to the New World in search of a refuge for the oppressed Huguenots. Leading the expedition was the Huguenot explorer Jean Ribot. He charted a new course across the Atlantic and arrived off the coast of Florida. On Friday, May 1st, 1562, Rebo's party first landed in the New World, here. Today we're kicking off our 450 year anniversary celebration of Zahn Rebo landing right here in Jacksonville, Florida, 450 years ago. We have a story to tell in Jacksonville, Florida. Using this very river four and a half centuries ago, French Huguenot Captain Jean Rebeau, forever branded how modern day America came to be. It's been an amazing two days with the sail ship uh, that came from France. We were on the schooners with uh, the descendants and the Mayport village and the historical society reenacting Jean Ribeau's voyage to Jacksonville. We're traveling in the St. John's River uh, from the Atlantic Ocean past Mayport, which was Captain Ribeau's first landing place in this country, into Jacksonville. And in route, we're going to be passing several things that are of interest. One is the Ribeau Monument which is a replica of the original monument that was placed by Captain Ribot in 1562. And just beyond the monument, we'll be passing the replica of La Carolina, which was the first settlement, the first colonization in this country by the French. When I heard the story, I didn't understand how this amazing story of religious freedom, of people fleeing to our nation where that freedom had come about and I began searching with a passion. And I learned that probably 99% of our population doesn't know the story. And I set about telling the story, hoping that um, the story of religious freedom, of these amazing French people who came and many died here, will now be told. And we are thankful for the French who come to share it with us today. It was exciting, it was memorable, it was incredible to watch those two tall ships from France sailing up the Maize River, or better known now as the St. John's River. La mission a débuté le 8 mars au départ de Brest. On transite vers les Canaries une dizaine de jours et ensuite euh, prendre les Alizés pour aller euh, en direction de Puerto Rico. De Puerto Rico euh, direction Ferdinand Beach pour trois jours où on a été accueilli par la population et euh, superbe accueil d'ailleurs. Et euh, aujourd'hui, arrivé à Jacksonville euh, pour euh, des commémorations. J'ai pris le commandement de la, de la Goélette Étoile il y, a, euh, il y a un peu plus de huit mois, c'était le, le 9 septembre 2011. Sa principale particularité, c'est que c'est un, un voilier déjà. Dans la marine, nous n'avons nous avons que quatre voiliers, que, que quatre vieux gréments. Comme il n'y a que deux Goélettes, c'est extrêmement difficile de pouvoir euh, en commander une des deux. Donc c'est un véritable honneur et une chance inouïe pour moi de, de pouvoir commander un tel bateau. I had the honor of putting together a resolution that was passed to the House of Representatives uh, this year. It was passed on February 29th, uh, 2012, and it was uh, honoring uh, Jean Rabot and establishing May 1st as French Day in honor of Jean Rabot. Uh, the resolution also identifies our longstanding friendship with the French people 
and the historic significance that uh, the French people and the French nation has had with uh, not just the state of Florida, but with the United States as a whole. In the beginning of this year, in January uh, 2012, that's where things started to explode. We are the city of Jacksonville uh, under the leadership of Mayor Brown, and we also had the help of the Department of State and all the pieces of the puzzle, the clue game as we like to call it, were put together. We had the descendants who contacted me. J'ai une, une ascendance ribot très proche puisque je suis la fille d'une ribot. Et euh, c'est vrai que j'ai été élevée dans le, dans le souvenir de cet illustre ancêtre qui a eu une, une aventure à la fois passionnante et tragique. Jean Ribot, il y a 450 ans, c'est finalement la naissance, la naissance de la Floride. Donc c'est un anniversaire historique, mais c'est aussi la création d'un État. Et, et il me semble, il nous a semblé, à nous tous, les héritiers de, de Jean Ribot, que c'était très important de, de participer, nous aussi, en venant de France, à cet anniversaire. Je suis la 24e génération entre Jean Ribot et maintenant. Tous les gens que j'ai rencontrés qui veulent parler avec moi sur Jean Ribot, They are, they are, the, the enthusiasm is just amazing. These have, have been kept in the family since exactly 450 years. My grandfather gave me this coin uh, for my 18th birthday, and this is about 20 years. This is in my pocket and give me luck. And now that's yours. This morning, um, we rededicated uh, the Rebo Column, which is currently part of the Fort Caroline uh, site. And um, this is a replica column that was actually given um, to us by the Daughters of the American Revolution. The Fort Caroline National Memorial is um, specifically charged to protect the resources of the story of Jean Rebaud's landing, the establishment of La Caroline, of the fort uh, in the area, and um, to keep that story alive and to educate others um, about that. When Jean Rebaud and his expedition arrived, they were greeted by the uh, Tamuqua Indians. They are um, a very large tribe and they spoke in several different dialects. The local dialect was Mokama, so they are the Mokama speaking Timucuan. And um, for the majority of the interaction, it was a positive and peaceful and helpful interaction. Um, towards the end, um, that broke down a bit, but um, uh, the initial greetings uh, were peaceful. Currently we have an archaeological project in which we're trying to reconstruct the social landscape of 16th century northeastern Florida. So what that means is we're interested in finding where the Native American villages were located when the Spanish and the French first arrived in the 1560s. We're using students and we're also using volunteers from the city of Jacksonville. Anyone who really wants to come out and participate is welcome to. Today is kind of a launching point. We're looking forward very much to it continuing the effort to educate people about the rich heritage of French in Florida through our Visit Florida campaign, which is a media campaign, and the Viva Florida initiative. Altogether, uh, we are acknowledging the past, the sad moments as well as the nice moments, to build a better future. And this future is built on the tolerance idea that Jean Ribot brought. The future is built by the American who live here and who like France. And this friendship is really strong. Yesterday I gave Legion of Honor to two veterans who helped save France during World War II. And that's how we can build the future. We, we base ourselves on this past and we look forward to a brighter future of a Franco-Floridian friendship. Mm -hmm.